Hey everybody, this is Scoots. I make a Sleep With Me podcast and the stories here at Bedtime Stories from Sleep With Me are stories from our main show, Sleep With Me podcast. I only laugh because it's a lot of words. But if you really enjoy these Bedtime Stories from Sleep With Me, or if you're new, welcome. Enjoy them. I hope you enjoy them. I hope they uh, keep you company in the deep, dark night, help you fall asleep. But if you really enjoy these stories, uh, the best ways uh, to help them keep it, co- keep it coming is uh, to uh, try out a subscription on sleep with me plus at sleep with me podcast.com slash plus or just let people know about uh bedtime stories from sleep with me it's new it's something we've never tested out before and uh by sharing it letting people know about it uh is a huge way to support it and uh to let other people know what you like about it so i really appreciate it and i'd love to hear from you if you sign up for sleep with me plus even for a trial i'll send you out a video and uh, thanking you and you can reply right to that video or you could always reach me through the contact uh, page on our website those messages come straight to me thanks so much and enjoy these bedtime stories from sleep with me uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and friends beyond the binary. It's time for the podcast. I just want you to know I see you there, and I know you're having trouble sleeping, uh, and I'm here to help. This podcast is definitely silly, yeah, but that's really the foundation of it, uh, is that you deserve a good night's sleep. You deserve to be treated with dignity and respect, uh, and I'm here to you know take your mind off stuff while you fall asleep. It's time for Sleep With Me, the podcast that puts you to sleep. And I cannot thank you enough, those of you uh, that help keep the show going by either listening through the credits or going when you're handed to the fridge tomorrow to sleepwithmepodcast.com slash sponsors. Uh, thank you so much, and uh, these are the ways we keep the show going. Hey, everybody, this is Scooter. I make a Sleep With Me podcast, and that's where these stories come from, bedtime stories from Sleep With Me. And uh, I hope they help you fall asleep. If you enjoy these, uh, let people know about the show. Just just share it when you share stuff. Hey, I really like these bedtime stories from Sleep With Me. Uh, or you could always support the show on Sleep With Me Plus. That's how we're able to do this. Uh, you could sign up at sleepwithmepodcast.com slash plus. You could test out a trial even. But if you value the content we make on Sleep With Me and hear uh, bedtime stories from Sleep With Me, it's the most powerful way to make sure they're here and available for you now and in the future. Uh, and you can always let me know about it. When you sign up for Sleep With Me Plus, I send you a thank you video. You can reply right to that video. Or you could get me through the contact page on our website, right at sleepwithmepodcast.com. Uh, so thank you so much and uh, good night. Uh, hey, are you up all night tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble getting to sleep, trouble staying asleep? Well, welcome. It's time for Sleep With Me, the podcast that puts you to sleep. We do with a bedtime story. All you need to do is get in bed, turn out the lights, and press play. I'm going to do the rest. What I'm going to attempt to do is create a safe place where you could set aside whatever's keeping you awake, whether it's a thoughts, a feelings, a physical sensations, so stuff you're feeling physically, uh, experiencing emotionally or, you know, contemplating or, you know, in my case, ruminating, uh, heavy on the, the room, which you do like, uh, I think just cause that sounds like something you say, well, I prefer like with, with not R O O M obviously. Uh, anyway, what I'm going to do, uh, Oh, whatever's keeping you awake, I'd like to take your mind off of that. Uh, it could be any, anything, you know, I'm going to here to keep you company to distract you as you drift off into sleep. The uh, way I'm going to do it is, uh, you know, I got this nice, safe place, uh, plenty of room, shows plenty of time. You got a long, long uh, landing strip here, descent. Uh, and uh, what, I, oh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send my voice across the deep, dark night. I'm going to use lulling, soothing, creaky, dulcet tones, pointless meanders superfluous tangents i'm going to take my time you know bear you know i'm going to get there's a warm-up and a cool down combined into one one layer you know parallel layers you say well there's a warm-up layer in the podcast a cool down layer all the way through uh so yeah i mean basically the reason i make the show is because i've been there uh in a lot of the cases and you know i might not know exactly what you're dealing with but I do know how it feels uh, when you can't fall asleep and you got to get up or you wake up uh, 
worked with this morning, woke up, I had an early alarm for a weekend. I'm recording this on a Saturday. And then I woke up a half hour before that. And I said, what the heck? Uh, I said, a rip off to myself. Uh, so I know what it's like, uh, whatever your case may be, I'm here to help. Uh, now if you're new, a couple of things to know, well, right up front, kind of up front, structurally show starts off with business. That's how we keep the show free for everybody. And thank you all, everybody that participates in that. Uh, then there's an intro. The intros are about 12 to 15 minutes or so. And it's kind of a, a big part of the podcast, uh, but there's no, like, after you start listening regularly, there's no wrong way, even initially, uh, you just want to make it the easiest way if you're, if you're really new, but like if some listeners, uh, skip the intro, like maybe two, 3%, uh, some listeners fall asleep during the intro. A lot of listeners use it as kind of their wind down as they're cool down, they're cooling they're cooling down and warming up their bed at the same time, you know, to, 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 to uh, descend into sleep. So the intros are a little bit different than a normal podcast intro where it'd be like, uh, yeah, I'm a ham, I'm, I'm a hammy pod cool coming at you. And here's the show. Like, uh, I do that part. Then I do a setup for the show. That's it, it's a part of the show and the podcast does not work for everybody, but for almost, uh, I'd say like 95% of people that it does work for. Uh, which is a, a pretty good amount of people. Uh, they say it took through two or three tries. So if you want, uh, if you're up for it, give it two or three tries, because I'm just here to help you fall asleep. Now, if you've given it two or three tries and you say, well, this isn't for me, but I'm still looking to, for a way to fall asleep. Or you're already saying this is definitely like scoots, you know, uh, not sure you and I are cut from the same, you know, cloth, uh, and I want to say that to you more intensely, go to sleepwithmepodcast.com slash no thank you. Uh, there's resources there uh, for other things. There's some things that I listen to in other sleep podcasts. And then there's also some options. If you say, well, you scoots, I got to tell you how I feel. Uh, there, there's uh, the options in there. Uh, so that's if you do, you know, give it a few tries. Because I, I really, I just want to help you fall asleep. I believe you deserve a good night's sleep. I believe you deserve a life where you can flourish and so you feel you're rested and you can do that. And, uh, you, uh, of course you deserve to be treated with dignity and respect. Uh, now a couple other things, this is one podcast you don't need to listen to. You probably, you may have figured that out already. Uh, you can kind of listen, you can totally listen, uh, either way or whatever in between, you know, to turn it down to a murmur or listen to my every word. Uh, the reason I make the show is so you don't need to listen, but if you do need to, if you need company in the deep, dark night, I'm here to the very end to, to, to keep you company. And that's kind of how the podcast works. Somehow by me keeping you company, no strings attached, uh, you could fall asleep. Uh, or if you don't, I'm here because uh, like I said, I've been there. Uh, so no pressure. Listen. Oh, I guess that kind of says no pressure to fall asleep either. That's why the shows are an hour. That's why you can listen back to back to back to back. And, uh, yeah, that's why the podcast is free. So you say, well, okay, well, yeah, this puts you, and I say, well, okay, I don't understand this. Uh, that's what most people's reaction is the first two or three tries. What is this? What the heck? Who in the what's it? Is he still talking about what's it? Is he talking about how's it's now? Now is he transitioning to use the end of that word because he started to think about sea breeze and astringing? Is he going to go back to that joke where he used a, like whatever the thing we call the Latin, the Latin verbiage uh, uh, to, uh, yes, I am a strange, a strang, what's a strange, a strange, a strange, a strange, a strung, a stress. Oh, maybe it's east orum east, east os east. That would be a stress, which I think is strange. So a strange, a strang, a strung. It would, like uh, that would be like in a, in some sort of home with uh, in a 1980s home where skincare came first, you say, well, this, I don't know if you're going to live under my roof. Uh, it's a skincare first, you know, that's a home I, I've never lived in. Like, I mean, we, we, like it, where it's a first, you say, I mean, it might be a good thing, but I'm just going to talk about goofy parts about, you say, uh, so, you know, before you eat your dinner, don't worry, Papa, I've estranged. 
I've stringed, I, I stringed, I stranged, and I strunged. You say, okay, okay, sweetie pie. Okay, Junior, great work on the astringing. Oh, astringent, you might not know what I'm talking about. You bar- I barely do. It may not be relevant. Uh, I think it is, though. Like, so there's this thing called astringent, right? Maybe, I don't think I've ever purchased witch hazel. And I say, okay, that's probably, like, needs to be renamed. Though I'm pretty sure it's the exact name of a pet. pet but, uh, uh, it, it now just made, now, see, see, this is where I go off topic. Now I'm imagining being at a party, like a dance, uh, when we were in, at peak Hazel, with the name Hazel was at its peak. And you're at a school dance and you say, wait, wait a second. You, you like witch Hazel? And then everyone would like, like, that's true though. If you were at a dance and your best friend, you say, you kissed witch Hazel, uh, it, like, like you'd be, or which of the Hazels did you kiss? I guess would be another way, but that's pretty formal, uh, to say to your best friend, I guess you'd like, uh, you don't know how you do it. Hazel who you could say, that's pretty funny without even a witch Hazel joke. You'd say Hazel who? Hazel who? Was that in one of the Seuss books? Was Hazel one of the who's? I think that would like, uh, well, I don't know if we ever had peak Seuss, but like original Seussage, like uh, maybe Hazel, I know someone may be listening and then maybe like uh, when you wake up tomorrow and you say, well, let me, when, it, when was, when was Hazel popular? I believe my eyes are Hazel. I never made that association with witch hazel, any, but I was trying to explain the fact that astringent is this thing you take it like a, and I, here's the thing, and I'm perfectly honest, I don't think I've astringed my skin since the last time I joked about this on the podcast. I mean, I, I, it's the winter here when I'm recording this, so, so it's like I'm not uh, using multiple layers of sunscreen multiple times a day, just, you know, one morning moisturizer. But uh, astringing is like when you take this thing, I think it's mostly like alcohol or witch hazel, which I don't know if that's suspended in alcohol. And then you, and usually it has a nice blue tint, uh, the sea breeze. Uh, that's why I like sea breeze, the sea breeze and sleep with me. Two things you'd never associate with one another that go great together. It's like fresh breeze, sea breeze and sleep, uh, sea, sea breeze, sleep with me edition. Now in purple. That's sea breeze, folks. Actually, no offense. I usually get the uh, store brand because you know, you know, they really upcharge for that sea breeze. You know, that's extra breeze. Sea breeze, formerly sponsor of Sleep with Me. Now we're not speaking. Okay, where was I? Oh, so then you take that, you put it in a cotton pad or a cotton ball, and you wipe your fra- face with it, and I think it degrease. We talked about this a long time ago. Degreases or deglazes your face. I don't know what deglaze, like I've never gotten to what, what deglazing really is. I've seen it on shows and I'm pretty sure I've done it before. Um, deglazing, uh, Hazel de Glazel. That's another character. That was another, that was one of the great lost Seuss books, Hazel de Glazel. She was the wisest sn- snoofle, snoofle, from snoof, snoof town, Hazel de Glazel. It might be a, it might be a new code name for me. Is Scoots changed his name to Hazel the Lazel, and no one in the world, even the greatest experts in words, and even with the, Helen's help uh, from the illusionist, he, could, he couldn't even figure out how to spell the Lazel without making a laser in there, because then he would never be able to say his name without getting even further distracted. So it's basically something you use to clean your face. And I guess the, so that took me so off the topic uh, that we don't really get to spend any more time with this wonderful family we just met, uh, whose top priority is skincare. Good question, though. I can hear you asking it. No, no one in that family is a dermatologist. They just have, uh, like, their priorities. So they say, could you skincare? Uh, uh, you know, do, doing good for others, kindness. And maybe it's like an accidental generational association, but in this case, it's a good one. They say, well, when my, when my skin feels good, I feel good. I do good. May, well, you say, what belief system, sleep with me, a, a belief system formed around sleep with me 
in 2022, you know, after Scooter changed his name and, you know, moved to Snoofville, formed Snoofville. And what was the, what was the belief system based around sleep with me? Was it like, uh, some sort of sleeping, you know, uh, no, it's based around skin care and kindness, uh, that all kindness comes with kindness to your skin. Largest, you know, largest organ on your body and in it, but probably. Though some say the tongue, but I don't know if that's true. In my case, it's just, yeah, you're right. It's whatever organ produces hot air. Thanks, brain. So anyway, if you're new, that was a good example of how the show will go from here on out. I'll talk about one thing, then I'll see something over there. Then I'll be sitting down at a dinner table with a family who's, you know, who's got their priorities in order. We can't say anything else about that. And, you know, then I'll take a trip to Snoof Snoof Town or whatever. Uh, And all this meandering is so if you need me here, I'm here to talk to you. But if you don't need me, you just need me nearby. You could just drift off in any of those turns. Uh. I think that's it tonight. We'll, after we, the intro, I think I started going off topic when I was explaining the structure of the show. But after the intro, we'll have some business. Then we'll talk about Game of Thrones. Uh, then we'll talk about some stuff that came up on Game of Thrones. Then we'll have a visit from Tom and Pounce. Then we'll have prayers to the old gods and the new. And then we'll have the thank yous and the good nights. So really long episode. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. I'm, I'm really here to uh, help to take your mind off stuff and keep you company. I appreciate you checking the show out. Uh, I appreciate your time. And I strive, I yearn, and I work very hard because I want to help you fall asleep. Uh, so thanks again. And thanks because uh, here's a couple of ways we keep the show uh, going. Uh, hey, are you up all night tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble getting to sleep, trouble staying asleep? Well, welcome. This is Sleep With Me, the podcast that puts you to sleep. We do it a bedtime story. All you need to do is get in bed, turn out the lights, and press play. I'm going to do the rest. What I'm going to attempt to do is create a safe place where you could set aside whatever's keeping you awake, whether it's thoughts, feelings, physical sensations, changes in time and temperature, changes in routine, uh, you know, whatever it is, so stuff you could be on your mind, you could be feeling physically, it could be coming up emotionally, whatever is keeping you awake. It could be any of those things. It could be other stuff. Uh, I'm here to take your mind off stuff and keep you company. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send my voice across the deep, dark night. I'm going to use lulling, soothing, creaky dulcet tones, uh, pointless meanders, superfluous tangents, I'm going to go off topic, uh, you know, like uh, barely, uh, I'll go off topic. Maybe I won't, uh, I'll definitely go off topic. I don't know if I'll ever get back, uh, I'll, you know, I'll meander. I get mixed up. I for, forget stuff. Uh, go on tangents. I'm going to send, did I say I'm going to send my voice across the deep dark night? I'm going to use lulling, soothing, creaky dulcet tones. Nice, smoothed out, safe place. And the show is really here. If you're new, welcome. I'm glad you're here. That, that's one message. Uh, two, a couple of pieces of information. Structurally, if you're new, what to expect. Show starts off with business. Uh, that's literally how we've made the show for almost 800 episodes. So, so it's here to, uh, oh, so, so show starts off with business. That keeps the show free. It, then there's an intro. The intros are around 12 to, to 14 minutes or so. And it's kind of your bedtime wind down, a little bit of a check in, a little bit of a wind down where I'll uh, kind of explain what the podcast is, get you settled in and you can slowly wind down. Then there'll be some business between the intro and the sh- episode. And then tonight will be our episodically modular series, Big Farm in the Sky P.I. season two. And then the show closes out with some thank yous and good nights. So, so that's the structure of the show. And what else? Uh, oh, oh, the intro is it gives you a little more info on the intro structure because some people get confused. They feel like uh, new listeners, uh, which is natural. If you're skeptical or you're confused, you're probably in the right place because I, w- I would be skeptical too. Uh, and this podcast is very confusing. It, um, naturally, uh, 
by me just being myself, uh, I, I, it travels a secure, circuitous route. Uh, but so structurally, oh, the intro. So the intro, some listeners will fall asleep during the intro. The majority of listeners kind of use it as part of their getting ready for bed routine. Uh, that, that That's just kind of how the show's made. So you say, okay, I'm winding, I'm getting ready for bed. I, I got scoots on. Maybe do some light, light hair brushing, some padding of pets, uh, maybe kiss, you know, kiss, no padding, you know, because that, like, uh, but, you know, maybe kiss on the cheek, maybe you kiss your own shoulders, that's what I like uh, to say. I don't know, that that has barely caught on with listeners, but if you're looking for, like, something that is not only symbolic of self-care and self-love, but it was also... Uh, I think I'm not, I mean, I'm no expert in the end, like any of the inner workings of the human body, but I could tell you whether you're kissing a clothed or, 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 uh, 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 exposed to shoulder uh, or nuzzling it or, you know, light kiss of your own shoulder, you, you like, I'm going to do it now. And my, my, you know, I have a shirt on, but it say, okay. And do it slow. You know, don't instantly jump into a shoulder kissing routine. You know, you don't want to be, uh, you know, ease your way into it. It gives you a little stretch. Here, I'll do it again. I, I, I just kissed both shoulders, uh, but uh, it's just, you know, or a peck, I guess. Uh, but th- oh, those are, oh, so the intro is part of the wind, people's wind down routines. About 2% of listeners just skip the intro, go right to the, they, you know, they listen to the sponsor messages and then the episode, uh, just portion, they skip ahead. And uh, some listeners, uh, or more listeners, that I, I, you'd be surprised to hear from, uh, listen during the day, because uh, it's kind of like a little break. When they need a little break in the day, they put on scoots and he may, ideally I make things feel okay. So that's the structure of the show. As far as rules go, we don't really have any rules. There's a lot of different ways to use this show. But here's a couple of things you need to You don't need to listen to me. So don't feel bad if you fall asleep right away or if you change the volume or the speed of the show. You know, don't worry about those things. Those are perfectly natural ways to do it. Uh, um... What was my point? I, uh, uh, oh, uh, there's no wrong way to, oh, you don't need to listen to me. That was point one. Two, no pressure to fall asleep. I really want you to know I'm going to hear the reason the shows are over an hour is uh, to give you plenty of time to drift off as you need it. So no pressure to fall asleep and no pressure uh, to uh, pay, pay strict or close attention because, uh, yeah, I'm going to be here for, for a while. So, but, but yeah, you, you ease into st- sleep. That's why the shows are here made in an hour. The show episodes are complete because uh, they make the show just as much for the people that fall asleep in the first few minutes as they do for the people who can't sleep at all. Like, I'm here to keep you. If you, if you say, Scoots, I got a, you know, I got a, I got worse, like, whatever. I got a birthday tomorrow and I can't, I said, don't worry, I'm going to be here all the way to the end to keep you company. That's really my job. Uh, whether you hear me or not, uh, I'm here for you. That's really what the show's about, mainly to take your mind off of stuff. Uh, there's no pressure to fall asleep or no pressure to listen because I'm here to walk at your side as you drift off at your leisure. And the reason I make a show, and you'll be hearing this like in a totally different time than when I'm making this, uh, but the show just had actually a big anniversary for, for sleep, people that, you know, with sleep stuff, it's... Uh, was the spring ahead a couple days ago. And so this is a show, I think, so 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, and 2019. It's our sixth uh, spring ahead. And th- that's kind of a big deal because the spring ahead is uh, S U C K S, like an exclamation point, you know, all caps and bold it. Uh, and so it's really my honor to make this get past the six the springing ahead. Now, not everyone in the world has this daylight savings time, they call it. And there are pluses to it. Uh, like, I don't know, like, again, people debate why don't we keep it or whatever. It does make us, you know, it changes the time you go ahead an hour. 
Usually it's Saturday night, Sunday morning. Sunday morning, technically around 2 a.m. or something. It becomes 3 a.m. or 1 a.m. I don't, I, don't, I don't actually understand it myself. And uh, it tends to just not be easy for people, because, not only because it changes your sleep, it changes the time. It changes your relationship with daylight initially, depending on what time you're, you know, your schedule. And also, just for me, it makes me think about stuff. It makes me think, uh, oh boy, I didn't realize that's what happened to me. I was on an elevator at a hotel when I saw the sign. It was on my general radar of things I forget about. Uh, and then, I, of course, I never know the date. So I said, is that next to Saturday? No, they wouldn't have a photo, Xerox a photocopy of a clock from like a print shop deluxe uh, 97 or whatever up on this elevator. So I said, maybe that's, and then I said, what day is it? Cause I was at a conference and it was Friday. And I said, Oh no, that's tomorrow. And I said, well, I'll still be here tomorrow. So it looks like I'm springing ahead. And I said, Oh great. Uh, Cause I was already on the East coast. So my time was, I live on the West coast. Oh, so what's the daily savings? So when you move your clocks ahead an hour, it keeps us on our toes. I think that's the official uh, from the Daylight Savings Office. They say, Daylight Savings Time keeps you on your toes. It's good for uh, getting on your kids' nerves if they have to go to bed and the sun's still up. Uh, since whatever friggin' year we invented this thing. Uh, so, uh, so for me, and this is just an example of why I make the show, because I've been there. Uh, and I, I'm trying, I guess I'm not trying to rehash any of this stuff, but it's, I guess it's far in the past. Oh, that, that's what kind of my point is. Uh, okay. So I had, a, then I had a four hour time change cause I was already on East coast time. Then it springs ahead and again, yeah, but I was kind of used to it. But then also I was leaving on a Monday morning, very early on a flight, uh, so I had to be up around 5.30 a.m. And I know a lot of you can relate to this. Uh, and so then a lot of different mechan- like internal mechanisms started. Gears started. Uh, winding would be an inaccurate term. Grinding, moaning, uh, those type of things. Because I said, okay, how many alarms do I need to set? How much sleep am I going to get? You know, those kind of things. We call them brain bonds. I won't talk. I won't dig too deep. But Except to tell you that I wish the the part of me that went through all that, uh, that's here with you now, the time traveler, could have said to me at the moment uh, that night, uh, like around seven, when I was uh, like a pinball bouncing off, I said, hey, hey Scoots, listen, uh, don't worry. Like, yeah, you're, gonna, you're trying to go to bed between 1030 and 1130. I realize with the springing ahead and everything, that's confusing. Even if you fall asleep at like 12.30, that'll be about five hours. You'll hopefully get a decent. You can also sleep. You got a six-hour flight, so you'll be able to sleep on the plane a little bit. And I don't think you'll be too, like, you'll sleep on the plane a little bit. You'll get home, and then you could just go to bed early at your normal bedtime, and I think it'll work out. I mean, I realize it's very intense, and I realize you have valid concerns about uh your alarms and getting up and getting to the, it's, that's, uh, it's not easy. Uh, but I just want to be here and I, you know, I, I can't do that for myself. That's why I do it for you to say, Hey, I just want to take your mind off of stuff. It's going to be one, your, your concerns are valid and it's not easy when you're thinking about all this stuff. Uh, but here, I'm going to be here to kind of take your mind off of stuff, tell you a story. And, you know, I guess like even I, I'm resistant to someone saying, uh, don't worry, it's not going to, it's going to be fine. Sometimes that, and that, even if it was me telling myself, uh, there's one way to do it. There's another way to do it to be like, what if, uh, you know, some, a breath of relief, a breath of fresh air to say, Hey, I think it's going to be okay. Or, or I don't know what the right wording is. Cause even that I say, why don't you mind your own business? You, know, you say, well, actually I'm a part of yourself from the future. Just telling you, you slept two hours on the plane. It was great. And you're still able to get four hours of work done on the plane and sleep two hours. Uh, then you had an hour BART ride where you got another hour of work done. And then you got home, you got everything done, then you went to bed at 930. So, uh, but I just, you know, I think it's going to, it's okay. It's okay to be concerned. Uh, yeah. 
So it's, uh, I don't know if that's quite the essence of the show. I don't know if that's quite the essence of the show, but I just want you to know, you know, that, that I go through that kind of stuff. And uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if that's what you're here looking for, especially if you're new. He's a, a caring colder, colder sh- 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 shifter, a caring shoulder kisser. You know, I kiss my own shoulders, but I uh, also encourage you to kiss your, your kiss your shoulders. That does sound like a punchline on a, uh, what do you call those things, a uh, sitcom, though. Kiss your own shoulders, Bert. It's actually, as part of my self-care routine, I will. Uh, thank you. Maybe, it like, when they leave the restaurant, they say, don't forget to kiss your own shoulders. That could be a sign. Above a restaurant, that would be an interesting place to eat. Uh, uh, Karen's Karen, that was what we'd call it, uh. Karen's Karen, Karen, because uh, there's also like C A. Like I don't even know what that is. But uh, anyway, the main message I wanted to let you know is uh, reason I make the show is because I want to help. Now this podcast doesn't work for everybody, but the majority of listeners, uh, which is a lot that I hear from, uh, listened to two or you know, said that it took two or three times until I realized uh, yeah, this podcast is a bit different. It takes a couple times to get. Uh, where you say, oh, wait a second, I get it because I don't understand it. So if you're new, give it a few tries. If you dis- dislike the podcast, go to sleepinmepodcast.com slash no thank you. That's like an option for people that it doesn't work for. It has other sleep podcasts, other things I use. Yeah, but the main thing I want you to know is I'm here to help. I, 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 I work very hard. I yearn and I strive, and I'd really like to help you fall asleep. I appreciate you coming by. If you're a regular listener, uh, you're still with me as you're drifting off. These are a few of the ways we keep the show uh, going. Uh, hey, are you up all night tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble getting to sleep, trouble staying asleep? Well, welcome. This is Sleep With Me, the podcast that puts you to sleep. We do it with the bedtime story. All you need to do is get in bed, turn out the lights, and press play. I'm going to do the rest. What I'm going to attempt to do is create a safe place where you could set aside whatever's keeping you awake, whether it's uh, thoughts, feelings, uh, physical sensations, uh, changes in time or temperature, uh, routine, and... Um, what else? Uh, would, would, would try to take your mind off whatever's keeping you awake. Oh, it could be like anything physical coming up for you, anything you're thinking about, or anything you're experiencing emotionally, or any you know anything else that's not those things. Uh, sometimes a particularly well sleeping partner nearby. You know, I, I'm here to I say, well, that's not exactly the most sleepiest thing for me. Am I right or am I right? Uh, uh, elbow, elbow, elbow. Excuse me with your wonderful, sleeping, lovely face, so relaxed. Uh, you know, we're here trying to get to sleep too. But I, actually, believe it or not, I'm really here to take your mind off of all that. What I'm going to do is I got this safe place, you know, where we can speak in, in somewhat of confidence. Uh, faux, you know, a faux ma- is, is It really is a safe place, uh, but there are faux and imagined elements to it. I mean, just like Main Street, USA, am I right or am I right? It uh, feels cool. Also has faux elements. Nothing wrong with some faux elements. Uh, actually, faux elements, uh, th- that may be a new word we may have to repurpose because that is a sleep podcast word, faux, if, especially if it's one word, faux elements. So hopefully I'll remember that and we can come back to it uh, also, I can hear elephants saying, are you, Scooch, are you going to talk about us? Because it's very similar. And I'd say, hey, what do you call, what, what, like, what species is a pink elephant from that movie that I saw as a kid? And uh, when I was half asleep, and I, were those faux elements? The pink flying ones or whatever. Oh, is that, are they in the Tim Burton movie? Because I, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, oh, get back to, okay, thanks to, to all the faux elements out there. Oh, wait a second, sir. I could just get interrupted by a periodic table, too. I'm actually, believe it or not, periodic table. Are you a table? Like, are you a sum of, believe it or not, you are some of your, fr- some of your farts. Sorry, I did not mean to say that. I don't know if you even have the ability. I guess just sulfur is on there. Isn't that an element? Uh, 
and probably a few other ones. Uh, is is holy mackerel said? And that would be on the faux element, uh, the t- periodic table of faux, faux elements, huh? But, but did you have a, a Robert's rule point of order or something? Because okay, well I'll have to get back to you. Well, I know you wanted to talk to me about uh, like uh, the uh, oh, you, so you're proposing that your periodic table does it? Would it be on one of those boxes below or to the side? Could we just add one more of those? Uh, like, uh, you know, we could have the faux elements, uh, they don't have to be in their proper thing. They could be, you know, they could, like, uh, maybe, I don't know, somewhere within viewing distance of helium. I'd like a view of helium and maybe a couple, is pi, well, here's another question. Is pi right on the faux? Could we put that on? That's not even a purposeful pun. But uh, we could put that on faux elements. Uh, cubic zirconia? No. Okay. Well, if you, I'll be back then. Sorry, new listeners. Uh, sorry about that. Usually I stay on track. Uh, or actually, no, I don't. Usually, I, this is maybe the first time I've been interrupted by a periodic table. Oh, excuse me, the periodic table. You talk about a capital P. Mum. No wonder holy mackerel's not on you. It's above. It's used in the uh, the, the Yelp reviews of. No, no, I'm not looking to be have a contentious relationship with you. It's just I'm trying to. I, so, okay, here maybe I can explain it to you then. Uh, periodic table is if you are a new listener. So, sleep with me is a podcast. It's here to put you to sleep. I send my voice across the deep dark night. Use the lulling, soothing, creaky dulcet tones. And uh, pointless meanders, and I go off topic, which you you've been a part of. Congratulations, you're officially part of the show. Uh, and so, so the whole idea of the podcast is to take your mind off stuff while you drift off. It's more a podcast to be here as you fall asleep than to put you to sleep. Uh, but what else did, did you could you might you know? Um, good questions. These are these are good questions. I'm happy to field them. So. Uh, Okay, a couple of things to know coming into it. If you're new, show sh- structurally. Starts off with business. That's how we keep it free. If you don't like uh, the ads, uh, consider becoming a patron. Uh, that also helps keep the show free. Then there's an intro. Now, unlike a, in, a normal intro or an uh, efficient intro, like in the periodic table, you say, well, this is the letters. This is what we're talking about. This is how many electrons and whatever mass you got. Or, you know, protons, I don't know. Uh, we're not that uh, efficient because the whole the intro is the beginning of the show, first 14 minutes or so. And it's to help to ease you into bed in bedtime. As you get ready for bed, as you're winding down, you know, I take my time trying to figure out how to explain the podcast. And naturally, as I'm explaining it, uh, things come up and pop into the studio Today, we're lucky enough to watch this, watch this listeners. I'm going to try to do some r- r- late rapport building. Today, we're lucky enough to be joined by not just a periodic table, but the periodic table of elements. Oh, wow. Holy. I don't think I've ever seen anything more infor- inform- informing, more useful, more uh, related to every, all the things of life. Uh, I say, I look at myself and I wonder, I wow, wow, wonder what uh, parts of the periodic table exist in me. So impressive, uh, so familiar. I don't know, actually, and not to, to, to derail the, your, my complimenting of you, but is, like, is the periodic table cross-cultural? Because that would be important to me before I you know pump you up too much. Uh, because they say, well, I'm just operating from my viewpoint, my narrow cultural window. And I'm sure people will answer me. They say, well, actually, it is like, uh, or, well, it could be, you could be, you, I mean, the only reason I bring it up is because you could be even greater and more. Uh, and I'm sure you don't need to worry about the people that don't believe in that periodic table or whatever. Uh, and maybe that's what the full elements would be. Uh, but so I'm glad you're here. That was the main thing. And that's what I always say to new listeners too. 
uh, show starts off with a few minutes of business. And then tonight it's a G- 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 GOT, Game of Thrones themed episode. Now, if you don't watch the show, I just spoke to the editor, Carl, the legend. Carl said he's never, he's edited, he's edited almost all of our Game of Thrones episodes over the past, like, three years, four years. Uh, never seen an episode of Game of Thrones. So, Carl edits, edits the show and doesn't watch it. Uh, so, you don't need, really need to see the show. If you're worried about being spoiled, uh, I guess you could hold off a week or two, but you really, I don't think you will. And then uh, these shows are a little bit longer because it goes uh, episode recap, uh, stuff that came up that I, I investigated, uh, Tom and Impounce and Prayers to the Old Gods and the New. So these are pretty big episodes, uh, just like the Game of Thrones season. It's, it's, they give you even more time to fall asleep. Uh, so that's a little bit about, uh, so it's a structure show. Then there's some thank yous at the end. There's business between the intro and the, um, episode. It's another way we keep the show going. And I think, so that's a a structure show. Also, no pressure to listen, whether you got ears or you have, uh, some elemental ears and they are lovely. You know, I never wondered, uh, like elven ears and elemental ears, uh, Two different things, but they they make me think of one another. Oh, there's no such thing as elemental ears. Well, I'll add it to the table of the faux elements. Uh, uh, maybe we'll just call it. Maybe what, what what letters are open for elven ears? Uh, it could be an ele- a faux element. Uh, it could be. Could we also have a metaphorical? Like, could that be part of the the periodic table of faux elements? Uh, like a meta, like you see, well, these are metallic ones. These are metaphorical ones. And what would a metallic faux element be? I'd have to look through the Crayola crayons to, to decide. I think maybe a, a dragon, golden dragon scales, maybe. A sparkly chameleon. Those would be two metallic faux elements. Uh, platinum bronze, uh, you see, no, that's two different elements. No, no, then that, and not in this case. Uh, and, oh, uh, anyway, sorry, I gotta get back to the listeners. Uh, so, if you're new, including periodic tables and all the little elements who may be listening along uh, with their periodic table, hi, yo, oh, hi, good to see you. I don't know what GA stands for, but in my book, it stands for great or GR, or any of the, right, right uh, I don't know, barium. I'd like to have it every day. Okay, that joke didn't, I think it does kind of work. Uh, I mean, here at the Bo uh, Elements table, we're putting the pie in pie right, and we're putting the we're putting the pie right, we're putting, you know what I'm saying, right? Uh, I'm pandering to the, 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 the like, uh, elements, and they're cracking up. But so if you're here, like structurally, that's what to expect. You, this is a podcast you don't need to listen to. Definitely don't take it seriously because it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't really go anywhere. It's just here to keep you company as you drift off. And oh, what else? You don't need to listen. Oh, no pressure to fall asleep. These shows are over, well over an hour. And I'm here the whole time to keep you company. So you drift off when you can. If you can't, I'll be here. If you wake up like two hours from now, I'll be here too. And you can queue up in multiple episodes if you need it. Uh, I'm here to help. I'm here to keep you company as you drift off. To be your boar friend, your boar bay, your boar cuz. Uh, you're, you're like, uh, you're familiar, you know, you're elemental familiar. If you don't mind me getting too, too, uh, is it, you know, I, mean, I may not be familiar with elements, but I'm an elemental familiar. I think that's like, uh, yeah. And uh, I'm as friendly. There could be a song, like, friendly as the faux elements. Uh, here's something. You know, they used to have, uh, what were those things called? The, not the pound, not the puppies. Uh, what were the, oh, Care Bears. Uh, couldn't we have a show, Faux Elements? Uh, or what, could they be, like, an opening band for, if Care Bears go on tour, could uh, Care Bears tour, opening act at the Faux Elements? Okay, I get it. So I'm glad you're here. If you're new... Here's the thing. Almost every reviewer says it took two or three tries to, to get the idea that this podcast is out there. So give it a two or three tries. I'm just here to help. Like, really no pressure on your end to like me or the show. 
I just hope it helps you fall asleep, but it does not work for everybody. I hope it works for you. If you're looking for other options or you strongly dislike the show, uh, go to sleepwithmepodcast.com slash no thank you. That has other, el- you know, other, not elements now. Oh, you silly elements. So uh, that's it, though. I'm here to help. I re- really work hard and I strive. I appreciate you checking this show out and I want to help you fall asleep. Uh, thanks again for coming by. Here's a couple of ways we keep the show uh, going. Uh, hey, are you up all night tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble, getting to sleep, trouble, staying asleep? Well, welcome. This is Sleep With Me, the podcast that puts you to sleep. We do it with a bedtime story. All you need to do is get in bed, turn out the lights, and press play. I'll do the rest. What I'm going to attempt to do is create a safe place where you could set aside whatever's keeping you awake, whether it's uh, thoughts, uh, feelings, uh, physical sensations, uh, changes in time or temperature, uh, like, uh, uh, you know, stuff you're thinking about, basically, anything you're experiencing physically or emotionally that's coming up for you, or situationally, you know, it could be traveling, you could have a change in your work schedule, you could, you could because of work, have to sleep during the day, or in some sort, you know, I, I've, I've heard a, a lot of different stories over the years, uh, and it's my always my honor uh, to put you to sleep, to be here to, to help you, those of you that I can. And w- the way I do it is I send my voice across the deep, dark night. I use the lulling, soothing, creaky dulcet tones, pointless meanders, uh, superfluous tangents, uh, extra, you know, extra, extra stuff. I go, I go off topic. I wonder uh, about stuff. Sometimes I why, why wonder why, uh, but, but, but uh, it was, <laughs> It was, sorry, it just popped in my head. Sometimes, or always, I try to go with what comes up in my mind. But what I'm going to do is send my voice. Oh, I'm going to try to take your mind off whatever's keeping you awake. I'm going to use, oh, you lowering suit, pointless meanders. I said all that. Uh, I guess I forgot where I was supposed to go next with the intro. But here's, here's a couple of things. If you're new, welcome. I'm glad you're here. I hope this podcast, this will be a little bit of a prime. Is this a primer, like a, like a welcome orientation? That's kind of what these intros are. Uh, 50% of it is. Uh, so if you're new, uh, I'm glad you're here. This podcast does not work for everybody, but give it a few tries and see if it helps you. Uh, it's a little bit different. Structurally, what to expect uh, is uh show starts off with about a few minutes of business. It, that's how the po- podcast exists for free. So thank you for everybody for that. Uh, then there's an intro. Now the intro, this is a little bit different. It, it can, can throw some people off. It's a, it's a welcome. It's a, like a welcome center more than a. Well, I guess all the history the history of intros would be a welcome center. Uh, but so this is just one pamphlet on the welcome center. This one particular intro. And you'd say, hold on, that's not how a welcome center works. And it'd say, well, is the welcome center the sum of a whole of its parts or the parts of its whole or, or something that is more uh, sensible than that? Uh, but the, so the intros are around 12 to 14 to 15 to 11 to 16 to 17 minutes. And it's where I try to make a metaphor, explain what the podcast is. Uh, it is kind of part of the podcast. Now, some people say, well, where's the bedtime story? Right around 18 to 20 minutes normally. And there is a percentage of listeners, like 2 or 3% of people that uh, skip ahead to the story. And then a percentage of people that subscribe to our Patreon and just listen to story-only episodes. Uh, uh, so there is a small percentage of people, you just want the story, just skip ahead to 18, 20 minutes uh, uh, but if you're new, you might want to stick around and see how this goes. Uh, what was the, oh, the intro. Some So the intro for a lot of listeners is part of their wind-down routine, either while they're in bed or as they're getting into bed and getting ready, just because it is part of a process. Like going to sleep for, for, for some of us uh, is, is, a, is a process would be a neutral word to describe it. You'd say it's more like process, like a lot of people's opinion about processed cheese would be more about, but you say no cheese, cheese in bedtime and beds don't mix. Uh, okay, where, where how did I get it so off topic? So, oh, so the intro is a show within a show. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense, even though it's supposed to be an intro and welcome you. 
what happens is I go off topic a lot of times. So, uh, yeah, so so that's the intro. Then there's some business. Then there's a story. Uh, tonight, as I'm recording this, I don't even know what the story will be. It'll be a little bit of an adventure. It could be anything. Uh, it'll be soothing. It'll be uh, lulling. And it'll be here for you to keep you company. And then the show ends with some thank yous. So that's the structure of the show. Here's a couple other pieces of thing if you're new. I think I probably already said this, but if you're skeptical, to- totally. I- I'd be skeptical too. Uh, or if you're unsure, yeah, kind of try to consume it a little bit passively if you can. Uh, like observing like observing an, a magician from afar, and you're kind of watching the audience at the same time. And you're saying clearly that magician's doing something. Where if you're up close, you might say, "What is a magician doing?" Or how are they? Hi-? Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's a good, an apt metaphor or not. If if there, you know, there's like uh, wait, there's a lot of books like waiting for uh, something, right? Uh, or in um, you know, waiting for Guffman, the great movie. But uh, mine would be waiting for the, an apt metaphor. I'd probably be sitting on a bench, much like Forrest. Uh, I, I guess I, I, maybe I'd be talking to people and lulling and soothing them. But we're okay. So th- that's the structure of the show, and uh, th- uh, so this is kind of part of what works. Is I get mixed up and my thoughts kind of cross cross lines. So structurally, oh, I don't know what the story is going to be. Oh, I consume it passively. Uh, but here's you, there's no pressure to listen to me or to fall asleep. But clearly, I'm not always making 100% of sense. I'm just here to keep you company and to take your mind off of stuff. Uh, and so there's no pressure to remember or to listen. And ideally, the show kind of is supposed to work in two ways, which is kind of contradictory, uh, is that uh, you don't need to listen to it. And you can fall asleep at any point. And ideally, it's just distracting enough to take your mind off of stuff. Uh, but also, if you can't sleep, it's just interesting enough also to be there the whole time. Uh, and that's kind of the other flip side. You don't need to listen, and there's no pressure to fall asleep because I'm going to be here for about an hour. And if you can't sleep, you could queue up episode after episode. I give this show my all, all the way to the end. Uh, for those of you that are asleep, in some ironic way, I really think that the completeness of the episodes... Uh, let you not listen, full permission not to listen. Uh, but also, for those of you that can't fall asleep for whatever reason, I'm here. I'm here to keep you company. I'm here to be your boar friend, your boar bay, your boar bud, your boar sib. I'm, you know, I'm under the, I'm in the, the queue to apply to be your boar bestie. Uh, but I'm here to help. Uh, that's my point on that. Uh, so no need to listen, no need to fall, no, no pressure to fall asleep. Uh, and I'm going to be here for about an hour. I did, it, like, in the the teaser there, I talked about robes. And then I started thinking, I haven't had a robe in a while. And here's a, here's one question. If you have a robe, do you need, like, a hat stand or a coat, coat stand by your bed? Uh, I mean, I, I assume you don't because, you know, I've watched enough movies. You know, here on TV shows, people wear robes. And in movies, that was another, that was a paper I wrote in college that did not uh, make it. It was, uh, you know, because I just didn't do the research, uh, the cinematic nature of robes. Uh, like a lot of times I can't come up with titles uh, for art or, or podcast episodes or new papers, speeches, and delivering on those concepts. It turns out it's impossible a lot of times, but I thought that was a good title. And I said, can I get like a C just for the title? Like, do, isn't that a passing grade? Come on, teach. You know the cinematic nature of robes. Uh, th- there's pot- there's potential there. So that's like a C. And they said, no, no, a D is a poten- means it has potential that hasn't been delivered. And I said, I said okay, well, good enough. Hey, no, I didn't. I, I said, well... It's just not a, we just need, need a team of researchers as well. You know, hey, hey, AFI, if you're hearing this, uh, what, what do you think about that? Right, the, the top, uh, the cinematic nature of robes, a list of 100 films and the robes that made them special or the special robes that made the cinematic, you know, 
in, maybe interview. I wonder if uh, if Robes could talk. That would be an episode of uh, uh, Everything Is Alive. I was just thinking. Oh, I was trying to. Get, I didn't think those tangents would come up. I was just thinking. Do I need a robe, and where would I put it? Would it go? Like, would I use it? That's the most a key thing. Is uh, w- w- like because if I put it on my floor, would I get put it back on when I got up? Uh, here's I have like a lot of neighbors that I even like I live in a tight little um, area with a, like where even if I walk my dog to the street, I have to pass a, a good number of neighbors in their windows. And in the morning, that's one of my number one priorities. Other other than getting caffeine in my system, is walking the dog, Koa. Or right now, as I'm recording with some dog sitting, so I have double duty. And I say, okay, I got to get out there. We got to be at the right temperature, but I don't want to do too much work. I don't know why I think of putting on clothing as work, but it, it, you know, let's let's uh, let's be honest, it is. And so sometimes, you know, okay, this might be TMI, but it's, I'll put it simply, like, I don't wear a lot to bed. I do wear uh, boxers or whatever, or shorts. We'll just say shorts. Uh, that's, that's a polite thing we can all agree on. Uh, but just one layer. Uh, but just because that's how I like to sleep. And uh, so when I get out of bed, usually I have to take care of personal business first. And, and I try, like I say, well, I don't need to. I say, are any of the blinds up? Uh, probably not. Then I'll go take care, go and take care of my personal business, uh, and then I might try to get, get, then I might try to drink some coffee, uh, and then I'll say, okay, wait a second, now I got to get something on to take the dog out, and uh, so I wonder if a robe would be good for that. But then my neighbors would have to see me in a robe. It looks, so one of the, I don't have pajama pants, but I have kind of multi-use pants you can't wear out of the, you should never wear out of the house. And one of them is like a turquoise blue with pineapples on it in their baggy pants. Uh, I don't know where, I think I got them on a gag, but they're really good, like lounging pants uh, or getting your pants on so you can walk the dog pants. Except if, you, you know, for for esteemed people, or people that are worried. And my daughter doesn't worry because I don't think she knows because she's still asleep uh, that her dad's rolling out in like a, a winter coat, uh, flip flops with socks on, and then these baggy uh, pineapple pants. So I guess a robe would only exacerbate that uh, because, and also, a robe is like a little bit, it does have some sort of intimacy or like, I mean, you know, like, uh, uh, like Jeffrey Lebowski would roll in his robe. And I guess, well, I guess that's one reason they could, they say, well, okay, Scooch, give me, give me a breakdown of the differences between Jeffrey Lebowski and you. And I'd say, well, I, you know, I'm, I'm like, I can't, I can't smoke or drink uh, white Russians anymore. Um, other differences, uh, I don't, um, Eef, oof, okay, you got me. Good news. It looks like I could wear a robe. I'm going to be looking for a robe, and 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 maybe by the time you I, you hear this, I may be you know a, a owner of a robe. Maybe, what if I went into a store and said I'm considering robe ownership? Uh, uh, well, that would I mean maybe a fancy store. Is there like like I mean I'm sure there's a fancy where do fancy people get the robes. Nordstrom's is that, but that's probably fancy people are giggling. They say that's where the aspiring fancy people shop. And then I would look at and I'd say, well, I aspire to return to, to see if there's any robes at TJ Maxx then, because I just saw the prices of your robes. Robes where we're going, we need no robes. Uh, so, yeah, I guess I'll get a robe because I guess I could wear it anywhere because that whole Lebowski thing, I'd say, okay. The difference between me and Jeffrey is like uh, I would, I'd probably move. A little, I'm a little more spry, and like other than that, so I probably would. Yeah, okay. So uh, that's good news. I'll be robed soon, uh, and maybe. So uh, I, I don't know what my point was about that, but it, somehow this podcast. I think, like I said at the beginning, you take off your robe, you get in bed, you get comfortable, and then I'm here to kind of uh, make you more comfortable. 
or distract you from you say, well, should I wear a robe to bed or not? Uh, clearly, robe's not designed for any tossing or turning. It would bunch up and stuff. So I'm also here to give you friendly advice like that. Uh, maybe, well, I guess most robes are just an accessory as part of a broader uh, portfolio for companies. Like if there was a company that only made robes, I would say, you know, make a robe that's made for bed. I know that reverse blanket with arms probably, that's not a robe though. That, uh, that, uh, yeah, anyway, I guess it's time for the intro to come to a close and get to the story. Maybe I'll talk about the cinematic nature of robes. Uh, maybe I could do some brief research or famous robes. Who knows? Uh, but I'm here to help. I'm here to take your mind off stuff. Like I said, this podcast doesn't work for everybody. But if you're new, we get a, a good, good, a pretty good amount of listeners, and most of them say, it took two or three tries before the podcast. So I knew it was for me. So I hope it is. If it's not for you, you know, I, I hope you find something that does help. You can reach out to me. Uh, if you do so with, a, like, a, a modicum of kindness, uh, and I could try to help you find, fall asleep. Uh, so I'm here to help. Uh, I work very hard on this show because I, I yearn and I strive. I truly believe you deserve a good night's sleep. Uh, thank you so much for your time. And here's a couple of ways we keep the show a going.